Well, someone's having a good week, and it's only Monday. <laughs> there was no collusion with Russia. There was no obstruction and none whatsoever. And it was a complete and total exoneration. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully, somebody's going to be looking at the other side. Mm, thank God the media saw this coming. Can I hear an if true? <laughs> report that if true meant that federal investigators had evidence that the president of the United States committed a serious crime and potentially an impeachable offense. If true would confirm part of the Steele dossier which alleges that Cohen then met in Prague with a powerful Kremlin figure. Systemic collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia to tip the election in Donald Trump's favor with money changing hands left and right and lots of meetings. If that is true, you know, that's a enormous, incomprehensibly big deal. How do you explain the Manafort allegations as anything but collusion? There was no collusion on his part. Tonight, I can tell you that may be the most suspicious denial we've heard yet. I think they're shocked that the noose is tightening the, and that people might go to jail. You're exactly right. For the that, rest of their lives. If true. Yeah, about that collusion. In other words, as the president has insisted from the start, there was no collusion. So this vindicates the president on, on collusion. It does. A lot of smoke about Russian collusion, but no fire. 500 search warrants, 50 pen registers, we learned today, um, found no evidence of conspiracy by Donald Trump and anyone around him. That's a huge deal, a huge win for the president. Mm. Hello, 911. I'd like to report a death. It's the mainstream media finally choking on their own lies. <laughs> now, this should be a victory lap, but if I were the president, I'd be ticked off. Despite the relief that vindication brings, it won't undo the harmful crap the country went through thanks to a media who pushed this hallucination. They cobbled together a tale with weightless words like if true and sources say, built with junk terms spouted by junk analysts, all drunk on their need for post-2016 revenge. And we had to play along because skepticism about collusion was portrayed by the media as aiding Trump. Meanwhile, at CNN, they wonder, has Russia coverage helped or hurt the news media's reputation? That's like a sloppy drunk wondering, has my drinking helped or hurt my reputation? Especially when respected reporters pronounce this story worse than Watergate. What we are watching in the Trump presidency is worse than Watergate. I've said before that what we're seeing uh, is worse than Watergate, because in Watergate, the, the system worked. Ugh. The only thing worse than Watergate was their lie that it was worse than Watergate. By the way, it wasn't commentators like us who pushed this, but so-called analysts, reporters, and experts. When Trump said fake news was the enemy of the people, boy, did they prove him right. But it wasn't just about him. It was about you about dividing us, conflict as a business model. Smollett, Kavanaugh, Covington, now collusion. The hits keep coming and the media never learns. So the Steele dossier was fake, the leaks were fake, the FISA system abused, and the media dragged our country through this BS. It's not Trump that Russia snagged. It's a bunch of useful idiots called the press. All right, Jesse, uh, I'm going to hand over... The rest of the show to you. <laughs> I'm going to the bar to celebrate. Oh, I'll be right there at 6 o'clock with you. I was there last night. It felt like election night all over again. No collusion, no obstruction. Juan, you don't have to say anything. I accept your apology. Yeah, right? I, I, I was thinking I should bring you guys like birthday party hats. Okay. I would wear them. All right, that's right. Maybe a cake and uh, Putin can jump out of it. Right? <laughs> and for you, that's exactly okay. right. I'm glad you said it. Okay, listen, this, this was a knockout punch to the mainstream media. I don't think they're ever going to recover from it. Oh. Their credibility is completely shot. Millions of Americans will never take them seriously ever again. They booked their shows full of fools. <laughs> a roster of fools, fools who now yes. they have to let their contracts expire and put them out to pasture. It was all a bunch of boys who cried wolf and they never booked the other side. Mm -hmm. There's a big shift in the media now taking place. CNN, MSNBC, they dug their own grave through hate and greed, and now their ratings are going to soften. Fox News ratings will take a pop, and that's because we had the story right from the jump, and it wasn't just the opinion people like Hannity and Sarah Carter and Dan Bongino and Greg Jarrett. The hard news side nailed it down, too, with Catherine Herridge, Brett Baer, and John Roberts and our dot-com people because we were the only ones that followed the FISA abuse, the dossier, the Peter Strzok, and all those text messages. We followed the truth, and we were 
suspicious, and we were proven right. Now, the president, as you said, called the media fake news because they gave aid and comfort to the enemy. It wasn't Donald Trump who was the traitor. The traitors were inside our own government. And Vladimir Putin has to look back at the last two years and say, thanks, Democrats. You basically made Russia look stronger and divided the country. And look at how they brainwashed the country. 44% say the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. 52% think Trump tried to interfere with the Mueller investigation. Flat out not true. And if you criticize the media and said they were fake news, they said, oh my gosh, you're attacking the First Amendment. You're attacking the freedom of the press. Greg, permission to make an analogy? Sure. <laughs> the media is the dossier. Oh. The media is fake smears bought and paid for by the Democratic Party. And so... Instead of doing an autopsy on themselves, you know what they're doing? What? They're saying, you know what? Trump has showed little interest in healing or national <laughs> unity. <laughs> now, that's, they're, they're pivoting. Martha, w will the media ever reflect on these mistakes that they're making and follow our lead and our example as objective Well, I, I mean, I think from what, we've seen, from what we've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be much... Uh, yeah. You know, much capitulation, much understanding about what just happened, what they have just witnessed, because they've immediately spent most of the day, I was watching other channels in my office throughout the day, most of it on this little opening for obstruction yeah. of justice. Yep. This potential that maybe there's some avenue for recovery, that perhaps there was obstruction of justice. And, you know, the thing <laughs> that really strikes me is that if anyone thinks that, that the new attorney general released this summary without a, a very clear mm -hmm. feeling that it accurately reflected what was in the larger report that they're all screaming for full disclosure on, and I think we all want to see it. Of course we want to see it. Um, I think that they may turn out to be sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. I, I just love watching them shove Brian Stelter through that small <laughs> hole of obstruction, <laughs> trying to get, the, gotta get him through. The all right, fit. all right, Juan, uh, I know this is hard for you. Yes. I, I mean, it's, it's like it's... You know, first you got you defeat ISIS on Friday, collusion gone, Avenetti's in prison. Uh, uh, this has got to kill you. Yeah, I, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like they built the wall. They have peace with North Korea. You know what I mean? The Chinese deal is done. Oh, uh, get out of here. That's, well, that's true. That's, that's tomorrow. tomorrow. So here, here's the good news. You know, yeah. first of all, I, I think it's good news that the president was not that's true. found Absolutely. to have conspired anyway. I think it's good news yeah. that Robert Mueller was able to conduct a nonpartisan probe and come to conclusions that I think most of the American people can trust. Mm -hmm. I think the bad news on that stunt is that he confirmed Russia interfered in the 2016 election to help Donald Trump, and that from what we know, Trump, you know, he's like, eh, well, if that's happening, he didn't tell the FBI, he kind of welcomed it, but he apparently, and none of the people directly around him, was found to be in conspiracy right. with the Russians. But the FBI didn't tell him that they knew that that was happening. No, they suspected it. They, they didn't know it. They right. suspected the, it. They kept him from knowing that. So right. how would he have done anything to stop it? Well, I think that he could have acknowledged, because remember, Martha, he had meetings right here at Trump Tower. His son's having meetings with Russian officials. Well, I get, I want to and don't forget, yeah. he then goes on. I mean, he says that right there. That whole meeting looks standing, like a setup at this point. Okay, Juan. whatever you want to say. I'm just, no, he welcomes Russian officials into his campaign office. And then secondly, he's standing there, Martha, next to Vladimir Putin and says, oh, you know, American intelligence that said Russia interfered, eh, I believe you, not my intelligence officials. Or how about the yeah, lie about... That was not about, a great moment. Huh? That was not what, a great moment. No, what and how <laughs> about the, the business about, oh, yeah, I wasn't doing any business with Russia during the campaign. Obviously, we know not true. Of course. But you, that, that's, that's true. Point. We know that. But that, I want to bring Dana in because we've got to... Dana, all of these experts have so much egg on their face, they could open a Denny's. <laughs> Yet they're still, as Jesse said, will be invited back on to shows to pontificate because they, they uh, express the perfect anti-Trump Trump sentiment, so you'll still see David Frum and Bill Crystal. Yeah, all like these. The, the contortions will be very interesting to watch yeah. uh, over the next little bit to see, see. Like, well, actually, I still could be true to Martha's point. Like, I, we, we, yeah. if we get the, but if we get that document, I, it will be interesting to me to see. Remember, after the 2016 election, a lot of reporters went out on the road in America to find out why did we get the story so wrong? Right. How did we miss it? How did we? And they've now you know, we've had books have even been written about how did the media miss this? Yeah. They might do it here as well, but I will just remind you just from a personal anecdote, going back to the special prosecutor uh, of the Valerie Plame issue with Karl Rove, he knew for a year that he was not going to be indicted, but because of the rules, he was not allowed to say anything. Mm -hmm. The stress, the agony of what you put people through with these special prosecutions is 
is definitely going to have to be looked at, not just by our government, but by our media. Mm -hmm. I hope that we all agree, though, the report should be released, because I think Republicans and Democrats want to see it. Just get it out there. All right. Well, we're going to talk about this some more. It's a day of reckoning for everyone.